In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up um, Maya so we can have a fairly authentic looking Earth, planet Earth, and animate it. We've always start, the most essential thing to do with Maya is to create a project. So we go to a project window and we need to create a new project. So click on new, a new project comes up and I'll call this Earth. and then all those folders will be made in my project folder. I select accept and there we are. Next thing is to create a polygon sphere. Click on sphere and now I'm going to just press F on the keyboard which will zoom it nicely in the modeling window. And I can press spacebar and I get my three orthographic views, the top view, the front view and the side view and this is my perspective view and again if I roll my mouse cursor over and just press F on the keyboard roll my mouse cursor over each view then the polygon sphere is zoomed to the limits of the viewport. Right, I'm going to focus on by pressing space I'll focus on the perspective view. Now what I need to do now is to apply a texture to this sphere and so I'll make sure the sphere is selected and I right click my mouse button and I choose assign new material. The first thing I'll do is create a fairly dull matte surface called a Lambert surface which is shown there now here on the colour, as I'm going to select a texture, I need to click that box there. And then I choose File, because I'm going to go find a file to apply to my geometry. Then I need to just come down a bit in there. The image name, now I need to, before I find this file, it's got to be placed in the Source Images folder. So I could have done that beforehand, but I wanted to show you how to do it like from here. So I go to Downloads. Earth Texture, now there's my Earth folder and if I drop it into Source Images there, now hopefully Maya will find that because it knows it needs to find textures in the Source Images folder and sure enough there it is. There's the texture, I open it, okay can't see anything so the numerical numbers on the keyboard change the shading at the moment it's in wireframe, the geometry is in wireframe. If I want to shade it just so to see that material I put on, the grey material, then I press 5. And if I want to see the texture I press 6. And there it is. If I click in the model space I'll get rid of the wireframe on shaded, um, which is how we call that effect. Again frame in the viewport and there's my earth texture. And if I do the same for each viewport Click in the viewport, press 6, I get my earth texture appearing in all the viewports. Just get rid of some of this stuff here. Right, so we've got a nice textured earth. Next thing to do is to create a light that's going to give us the day-night boundary. The light at the moment is the default light, which is kind of an ambient light, kind of light daylight as it is outside. Um, but what we want is a more directional light. And that's what it's called, a direct light. It, it shines its rays in parallel rays, like the sun does. And so we need a light, we'll call it directional. I'll make sure I'm going to create it in the um, top viewport because I can see better what I'm doing. I'll zoom back a little bit like that. So create lights, directional light. Now, everything is created at the origin, so the light is actually inside the earth. But if I click on the W button on the keyboard, I get my little transform gizmo come out, and I can drag it out like that. Right. If I go back to my perspective view, now I'm seeing both the directional light, the gizmo of it, and the ambient light that's in the scene. So if I now press, instead of pressing 6, 7, now I only see the light I've just created. And you can see I've got that day-night boundary effect. And that's the characteristic of a direct light. And it's just what I want in this kind of scenario. Right, I'm going to save that scene now because I've got my sphere, I've got my texture, I've got my light set up. 
So I'm going to save it as save scene as and see immediately my nose it's putting it in the scenes folder in my Earth projects. And I'm going to call that Planet Earth. Okay, so we've got our model lit, textured, and ready to animate. So that's what we do next. Now, out of the box, you get 48 frames of animation at 24 frames per second. So what we're going to do is change this to 720 there, and it changes 720. So that's what we see on the timeline. We've got 720 frames of animation. Now we need to select the Earth, click on the channel box, and there we get our various attributes that we can um, key, which will enable us to animate them. Now then, we need to rotate the Earth around this axis here. This is the x-axis going across here. The y-axis goes up. The z-axis actually comes in and out of the screen as we see it. So we need to rotate the Earth around the y-axis. And that means keying the Earth in position 1, then moving it through 360 degrees and keying it in position 720. And that should give us our, 300, our 360 degrees of animation. So that's what we're going to do. It's essential that the time slider is on frame number 1. And then we click on the Y rotate, right click the mouse, and from the list choose key selected. It should turn red. Then we drag our time slider right to frame 720. We change the Y value to 360 by typing it in on the keyboard. We select the Y rotate and we key select again. And now then, when I take that time slider back, we've got some animation. Now it's starting slowly, it's what's called easing in, and it will stop slowly as well. I'll show you how to fix that using the graph editor. So there we've got our animation. All right, we'll stop it there, bring it back. Right, let's open up the, so again, make sure the Earth's selected, and open up the window animation editor, graph editor. We've got the view, the two-dimensional view of the animation but we can see we've got these slopes and that slope there is the easing in and the slope there is the easing out basically what we want to do is to straighten those slopes so we have a linear a straight line and the way to do that is click on one of the ends of the line and tangents is what we're dealing with here we want to set those to linear so we've got one linear there and tangents linear there. So that's now removed the ease in, ease out on the animation and we should now start the animation at full speed, which we do. Right, so we've got our rotation around the y-axis, which is the 360 degrees, the one full rotation over about 30 seconds. The other, th other thing left to do is to give the Earth a polar axis tilt, which, as you know, provides the seasons as, it orbit, as the Earth orbits the Sun. Now, the best way to do this is probably in the side view. Any one of the orthographic views will do it, but we'll do it in the side view. Now, this time we want to tilt the Earth, and again, we're tilting the Earth through the axis that actually we're looking at, which is the Z axis. So, we're not keying anything, we're just going to change the rotation of the Earth through the whole 360 degrees, through the whole 720 frames, through 22.5 is the axis of the polar rotation of the Earth. Actually, it looks a bit better in that view. So this view is right, it's just we're looking at it slightly differently. So again, we'll take that off by clicking in the viewport. And now let's have a look at that animation. And each time, if I want to see the Earth animated in a particular view, and I keep the animation running and just click in that view, I can zoom that one in, press F. So that's the top view, front view, side view, and the perspective view. Press space bar to bring this perspective view into full. And again, I can now position it and get my day-night boundary in and have a look at it. And this is where I would start to position if I'm going to render out all those frames from this particular viewport 
then I want to zoom in and zoom out and get the the camera set just as I want it. And there we are. So we've got our planet Earth scenario made from a polysphere, polygon sphere with a pre-textured map of the Earth applied to the sphere. We created a direct light so we give the day-night boundary. We've created the animation through 360 degrees across 720 frames running at 24 frames per second. That comes out at about 30 seconds of animation and we took off the key, the ease in and ease out at the beginning and end of the animation so that the um, Earth runs at a constant rate through the 360 degrees of rotation. Okay, that's it. That concludes this part. Um, thanks for watching.